how do you define an excellent piece of memoir? It's a great question that I've been thinking about a lot. And, you know, the, the cheap answer is to say, well, I know it when I see it, because we always feel that way when we come across a really powerful piece of writing. We feel like it just, it's almost like a physical sensation, you know, that our, that we know we're in the presence of something um, not just beautiful necessarily, but, but true. And I think there's something about that word true that sometimes people misunderstand as writers or even as readers, the difference between a true fact or a true event and something that's emotionally true. And so I think the way I think about strong memoir writing or strong in the sense of having an impact, like, a, you know, feeling the force of it is, is because I feel a sense of emotional resonance. And that doesn't necessarily mean it made me laugh, it made me cry. I mean, I might have a very quiet emotional response to it also. But I think it's some way that a singular experience, a singular story somehow touches that place of human truth, of human depth and experience that that even if I'm from a completely different landscape, a completely different cultural backstory, a completely different age or generation, that there's something I recognize as, as part of the human story and that, um, that it touches me. Yeah, I think sometimes people fall into the trap of thinking that when they're describing an event or an experience or an episode, that they have to tell it all or that they have to include every moment of the day from the beginning to the end or follow an experience in chronological order or make sure that all the people who were there get named and you know and i think that's not just a problem with let's say um beginning writers or inexperienced writers i think sometimes we get lost in wanting to get it right. And by that, we think we mean getting all the details in. And I think a piece of good writing also knows what to leave out and knows when to compress a moment and when to expand a moment. Not all time is the same on the page, you know, and not all details are equally important or equally contributing to the power of a scene or um, or a revelation. And so I think sometimes the quietest moments can be the most powerful. Sometimes the things we can't remember about an experience are as important as the things we can remember. And so I think not to, not to strain at an effect and not to, um, not to hold yourself up to some kind of standard as in you're in a courtroom, you know, and you're trying to make sure that you've made a compelling case or a compelling argument. I think it's more um, really trusting sometimes the quietest place in a story. And, and, and sometimes the only way to know that for sure is to read it out loud and to read it not even to somebody else, maybe just to read it in a space where you can hear yourself. And often our ears catch something that our eyes miss. And so to, to really take the time with a piece of writing means also giving yourself permission to know how it sounds. And then, um, and then listening for that false note or listening for something where it go, you can tell it just went on too long. I, I got bored with myself, <laughs> you know, or I realized that I was taking too long to get to the most important stuff, you know, and that's when you know you need to start in the middle rather than at what you thought was the beginning, you know, let the beginning fall away um, or don't necessarily follow chronology. Maybe chronology isn't your friend. Maybe if something, for example, is a traumatic experience, it probably doesn't feel continuous in time. There might be gaps in time. There might be ways that time seems to move backwards or slower or, you know, so I could go on and on about all this stuff in terms of technique, but I think, I think really that, that slowing down of your own revision process long enough for you to, um, 
to make sure that you've really checked it's almost like a, a sound check, you know, like a musician would do. How how is the melody of this serving the story right now? And and to trust your own ears, to trust your ears. 